Now to a new study on the challenges women face when it comes to getting life-saving CPR. First here on GMA, Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here with more. So uh, talk about this new study and what we're learning from it. It's, it's, it's concerning. It, it is concerning, and I want to be clear, Amy, this segment can truly save lives, so everyone really wants to pay attention to this. The American Heart Association has been long really kind of increasing the awareness that women and men are not the same when it comes to uh, heart disease, heart attack, and their risk of death. This study now on CPR for out-of-hospital cardiac arrest finds that women much less likely to receive bystander CPR than men. 39% of women getting CPR from bystanders compared to 45% of men. Obviously, this impacts survival. There's 350,000 cardiac arrests deaths in this country and CPR and defibrillation can save lives. And so it begs the question, why are women less often receiving CPR? Uh, we don't know. There are theories out there. One of them may be a uh, fear of a bystander uh, to touch a woman's anatomy, to undress them mm. for the defibrillation, um, to do harm. All of those things are theories. What we need to be clear on is that initiating CPR and the use of an AED and 911 absolutely save lives and we need to get that uh, assistance to women. Well, speaking of assistance, we have a guest here. Yes, so Mike let's Smith go through with it. the American Heart Association to talk us so through. So Mike is here with a mannequin. Um, I want to also remind people and go ahead Mike and get started and show how easy it is to start CPR. You can take courses in your area. What you want to do for an adult out of hospital cardiac arrest is tell someone to call 911 and Amy that means saying you in the black dress call 911. You want to start CPR with hand over hand only. You do not have to breathe. That's called hands only CPR uh, to, to the song Staying Alive or about 100 to 120 compressions a minute. So no mouth to mouth. That's you what people not, might be concerned about. Absolutely correct. And then this defibrillator right here, um, which you see them all over the place, literally should be initiated right away. I'm going to turn it on. They talk you through. Apply pads to patient's bare chest. And Plug in pads connector next to flashing light. And so in a woman, you do want to remove the bra. They all have scissors here. Um, and I think that this is something that in the summertime before going back to school, everyone can learn. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, what is the most important thing people should remember when it comes to CPR? You know, having done CPR both in a hospital and out of hospital, I will tell you that there is a fear of hurting someone. Yeah. Um, the person is already dead. All you can do is help. Wow. So that should be out of your out of your head. And then when you see people on television, television doing CPR right. like this. No, your, le your arms have to be locked out. You need to be directly over the person, hand over hand, as quickly as possible, and use these AEDs. Okay. They are literally the difference between life, life and, and death. death. And anyone can do this. Anyone can do it. All right, Dr. Jen, thank you, you very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.